If you watch anime or follow Bimfi on Twitter, you definitely know what lube is and all the various uses it's got in modern society. Another thing you can do with lube, other than using it for sexual intercourse in case you do have it as an Usu player, which will be pretty rare, or just jerking off, which is probably more common, is for keyboard switches. You can essentially lube your keyboard switches and the results will shock you. Or at least that's what some people say. Finding out whether lubed switches are good or bad for your keyboard is like finding out whether it's a good idea to eat red meat. It's a continuous discussion amongst the keyboard community whether it's a good thing to lube them or not, and people have some pretty extreme opinion about them. Some people say that lubing your keyboard switches is gonna immediately increase your KD in CSGO or make it easier for you to complain on Discord whenever someone posts a meme in general, while some other people say that lubing switches is nothing more than a gimmick for people who have a keyboard fetish and they immediately ejaculate as soon as they hear a certain sound coming from their stabilizers. But let's go back for a moment. Why would having lubed switches increase my KD on Osu laser? Well, let's figure this out. So basically a keyboard switch is uh, is this thing right here and as you can see it's made of different pieces now this small button clitoris looking thing up here is called stem and when you press on a switch the stem has to slide down in the actual plastic casing now if your switch isn't looped obviously there's gonna be some extra friction whenever you do this uh, movement this workout movement that also players are really familiar with but if you add lube, obviously this movement is gonna be more smooth, which essentially means that the general feeling of your keyboard is gonna be more smooth and it also changes the sound of your keyboard. There's a couple different ways of lubing a mechanical keyboard. There is some newer, faster ways where you basically take a spray and spray your keyboard switches, but uh, I couldn't really trust myself to do that because it looked like I would just break my keyboard completely. And then there's the more traditional way, assuming you don't have a not swappable keyboard, which unfortunately I don't have yet, where you basically desolder switches individually, loop them and then solder them back on. Now, I never soldered anything in my life, so I didn't really think it was a good idea to start off with a $150 keyboard that I would potentially fuck up, so I decided to send it to a good friend of mine called Elysion. If you are an older player, you definitely know who Elysion is, he used to be huge in the Osu community, he still plays the game but he never really competes anymore, he just basically sets insane DT scores on alt maps these days, and he's also a keyboard enthusiast who is willing to help people like me, who don't know what they're doing. He also happens to make costume mechanical keyboards on commission, so if you guys are interested in that, I will leave some links down there in the description so you can go get in touch with him. But since he lives in Europe, I decided to just send him one of my older keyboards, which is a Ducky Shine 6 with black switches, so that he could loop the switches for me and send it back to me. So today I'm gonna be finally setting the debate, are looped switches good or bad for Osu? At least in my opinion. Before we do that, however, I would like to remind you all that I'm still doing the keyboard giveaway. I'm giving away a Varmilo VA87M Sakura edition with red switches. There's only a couple days left, so if you wanna join and try to win this keyboard for free, signed by me, you can go to the glim.io link in the description. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe because I'm pretty sure we can finally break the 30k wall before April if we all come together as a community and try to achieve this task. That said, let's get into it. This is my good old Ducky Shine 6 Black Switches mechanical keyboard and in case you're wondering I got this keyboard on mechanicalkeyboards.com. So if you wanna use this website to get this model or any other model really, make sure to use creator code SPAZA at checkout to help support the channel. As you can probably tell this is a full size keyboard, at the time I didn't really know about the Church of Tankiless keyboards so I'm sorry for sinning, but this gave me a nice thing to do because this numpad is actually not lubed while the rest of the keys are perfectly lubed. So I can do a direct audio and feeling comparison between the two. So let's start off with the numpad. This is how unlooped black switches sound like. Mm -hmm. 
and this is how looped black switches sound like. Now let's compare both of them. I can already tell there's a big difference between the two, but before I explain what's going on, I'll just give you a nice typing test so you can hear for yourself. I gotta say, typing on this keyboard was extremely jarring at first. It's a completely new experience and something I never really felt before. It took me a while, maybe a couple hours to really get used to it, but once I did, I gotta say it felt awesome to type on those switches. The thing they say about having a more smooth feeling definitely applies here, but the one thing that surprised me the most is the change in sound. As you guys can probably tell, the looped switches really sound a lot quieter and kind of more smooth and silky compared to the sharp clicks that those switches usually have. Now, I'm a big fan of linear switches, I don't really like clicky switches, but even then I really really enjoy to have that very sharp, solid, hard sound whenever I tap on my keyboard or type on it, and unfortunately that very same feature is missing on looped switches. That's not too much of a big deal, cause that loss is very much compensated by how nice it feels to type on those switches, but it's just not as satisfying in my opinion, and this of course applies to Osu gameplay as well. Whenever I play Osu, I obviously use a different tapping technique compared to typing, so even though typing felt extremely awesome, I didn't know if the same thing was gonna apply to Osu gameplay, and unfortunately it really doesn't. Now, there could be a couple different reasons for this. First off, when you add lube, your switch is gonna feel just a touch more heavy than usual, because of course you are adding things on top of it, and... Unfortunately, considering that these were black switches in the first place, which are some of the heaviest, especially for a game like Osu, adding lube on top of it made it really really draining to play on those switches. My stamina would basically die every 2 hours, I couldn't really have long sessions or anything like that. The quieter sound could be an advantage to most people, especially because if you tap on your keyboard you are gonna be making a lot of noise, and if you can somehow avoid that, that's a good thing to do. But, again, in my case it just didn't feel as satisfying to type on this keyboard without making that nice clicky noise and have that feeling, that very rough, sharp feeling under your fingertips. Definitely don't have a definitive answer on whether loop switches are good or bad for Osu, because at the end it's gonna be completely subjective. I'd say there's potential, but I didn't quite explore them fully yet. I feel like I should probably experiment around with lubing more types of switches, probably lighter switches, for example maybe uh, MX speeds for instance, and if you want to try and lube your own keyboard please be careful because depending on the amount of lube you use, you could either dramatically improve your keyboard or just completely destroy it. I would like to once again say thank you Elysion for your help, if you guys want to get in touch with him for any reason whatsoever or just general keyboard talk, I will link his links, his social media, whatever, down there in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, you already know what to do, like video, subscribe, XD, you already know everything at this point. I will see you all in my next video. Have a good one, guys. Special thanks to my YouTube members, FRZ.